Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're talking about different types of cameras. Cameras such as IP cameras, analog cameras, bullet and drone cameras. We often have a problem in deciding what camera to buy. It's a very confused market with many cameras out there. It is important to know what you should buy. It's a bullet camera. Uh, it's a metal uh, bullet camera battle proof. It goes outside. Uh, ideal camera to have outside a uh, commercial place, uh, which you don't require any special casing. It's an IR distance of 50 meters. Also, it's a very focal camera, so you could adjust your focal length and come to the Allen key uh, that can adjust the bracket so that you can, you know, um, position it in the right way. Also, it comes with a small handy switch there, uh, which is quite handy to set things like white balance, brightness. Uh, and different settings that you could do in the camera. We got a dome camera here, yeah? uh, poly dome, and um, goes off the shape. This one um, is 700 dBL, uh, so that's quite a, a significant amount of dB lines that you get from a dome camera. It's a bantu proof camera, uh, metal casing. It's a very focal camera, so you can lift the focal. Again, come to the uh, same setup, a switch that controls different elements of uh, uh, the camera, such as uh, color setting, white balance, and so on. It is a good camera. It comes in deep space where you can hide all the wires inside the camera. Once your installation is done, uh, you won't see any wires outside. And this is um, again a bullet camera, uh, which is very similar to the one that uh, we saw before. Uh, but this one, you also have um, the, the switch to control uh, the various elements of the camera. Also, it comes a very focal camera, so you can adjust the lens. Uh, the lens comes here typically uh, 4 to 9 mm, which is quite narrow when you compare it to the previous one, which is 2.8. Uh, so, this is suitable for a longer distance where you, you think that you need to cover a very long distance. Uh, I would recommend this camera. Um, and it's a nice camera, um, if you don't need any casing. Again, it can go on the wall or on the on the ceiling. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's got an IR distance of 50 meters, same as the previous one. Box cameras. Box cameras are used uh, often with uh, casing or housing, um, CCTV housing that uh, normally goes outside. Um, with the box camera, the difference is that you have to provide power video, um, and also you have a VNC output and it, it works very nice with alarm. If you've got sensors that work in these cameras, and then box cameras are very sensitive for any moments, so it works really good with sensors. And they do, in fact, have um, RS485 inputs which then can be connected to a sensor. Um, as far as the lens is concerned, they don't come with lens, so you have to buy a lens on its own. So the additional cost that needs to be incurred. But the durability is quite high, so they can last a bit longer than the normal cameras. And uh, the TV line of this one is 560, so considerably a bit lower than the previous cameras. This is an IP camera, which is quite different than the normal analog cameras, which have a RJ45 slot, uh, a catback cable now from, from here, which goes straight to a router or a NVR network uh, video recorder. The difference between IP cameras and analog cameras, analog cameras with TV lines, but cameras with megapixels. So when you buy IP cameras, you often see the megapixel written on it, and it will tell you whether it's one megapixel, two, three, or five megapixel cameras. 